Jesus explains freedom of will, divine order, and state of compulsion. January 16, 1955. Message 6166 from Jesus through Berta Dude. Spoken by Pascal. Throughout an eternally long time of development, your soul achieved the required degree of maturity to be allowed to embody itself as a human being, that it is now aware of itself as your true self, and may now live its earthly life in free will. With a task, indeed, yet not forced to fulfill this task. You humans must know what free will means for every being. You must know that it must be left up to you, because it is the characteristic of divine creatures. In your time of pre-development, this free will was indeed bound, yet only because you yourselves relinquished your divinity. For in your free will you strived away from me, your God and Father of Eternity, and that you have thereby deprived yourselves of your divinity. Therefore I bound your will, in order to make a return to me possible. By binding your will, I only helped you, so that you were able to once again make use of your freedom of will in divine order, which was not possible beforehand in your developmental stage. Your will once took a wrong turn. I directed it again according to my will. The intrinsic being, in a state of compulsion, took the path of my eternal order. Yet it was not meant to remain without free will forever, for it was destined to become a divine being once again, as it once was, irrefutably including a free will as well. Your existence as human beings has been provided to your being for the testing of its will. The former sin of misusing its free will must be recognized in this state of free will. And through the proper use of will, deification must be achieved once again. The being must strive upwards of its own volition, just as it once fell away by its own choice as well. Thus, free will is the explanation for much that appears incomprehensible to you humans. Indeed, I can always help you, and will do so in every way. Yet you yourselves must bring about the transformation of your nature into divine creations. Otherwise, that state may never be achieved, for it is a prerequisite for deification. However, I wish to gain children. I do not wish to endow creatures, lacking a will of their own, with abilities they must use according to my will. My goal is to be surrounded by children, capable of creating and working completely independently, whose wills correspond entirely to mine, but are nevertheless free. My goal is to have blissful, living creations full of light and strength, striving for and achieving their bliss, their light and their strength of their own free will. For this purpose they must live through earthly life as human beings, so they might pass their test of will, which I will indeed continually support, but will never compel them to undertake, because this would ensure that eternal freedom and bliss will become an impossibility for them. I leave your free will to you, yet I will forever assist you in utilizing it correctly, and it will always be possible for you to reach your goal. That is why this earthly life is of the utmost importance for you, for it will decide your state in eternity, which you create for yourselves with your free will. Amen. <laughs>